What's up guys and welcome to our Road to Polyatomic and Orion series. Feels a little bit weird to say because it's so new. I was a little bit of a bad boy and I took a little trip to New Zealand and by that I mean I got an Xbox and I switched regions so I could play early. And in that time I got a little ahead of myself and I went and I got my M4 Gold on stream. So if you want to see the whole thing you can watch the stream there but I'm going to kind of give you guys the rundown of what happened and what camos are kind of like right now. So this episode is going to be a little different from the rest of the series but I want to show you guys what the camos are like in this game. And this is what gold looks like in all its glory. Gold looks so good in this game. I really love this camo. It literally goes across the entire weapon. Any attachment you have on here gets gold and the camo just looks great. I'm walking into the, the shadows here and we bring it out in the sun. It looks amazing. Very good looking weapon. But the camo challenges for it were not bad at all. There was only like four main challenges and then you had to do like the gold challenge. So for the first two is literally just get kills. One of them was just get 50 kills. Doesn't matter how you do it. Just get the kills with it. The next one was get 50 kills while ADS, which is what people normally do. I, I mean, you throw a few hip fire kills in there, here and there. There we go. That guy scared me. I know where he's coming from. But ADSing, it was not bad to get some camos for. That is a camo I like to see. It's nice and easy. And then for the third challenge for this gun, it was get 10 double kills, which normally is not that bad. 10 is not a high number at all. You can knock that out pretty easily. Oh, there I go, stunning myself. But as you can see from me completely fumbling over my controller buttons that uh, I was struggling a little bit with it. Oh, damn. And then for the last challenge that you unlock at like level 18, also weapon levels, by the way, I feel like they go by super slow. Uh, there is only 20 of them, so I guess it's not that bad. But it just felt like it took forever to do. Like I, I streamed for like four and a half, five hours, something like that. And I think towards the end of the third, early into the fourth hours when we got our weapon fully leveled up and we were using it nonstop the whole time. Maybe I'm just bad. And I wasn't getting enough kills to level it up fast enough. That was a crazy nade. But it just felt extremely slow. And then when we finally got it up to level 19, I'm pretty sure that's when I unlocked the final camel challenge for this M4. Uh, the last challenge was get 15 kills from behind. I don't think that's a challenge we've seen before besides like with melee weapons and getting like backstabber medals. But that one was a struggle. Uh, I was trying to do all kinds of different things like flank people, throw down smokes stun people and walk around them i think mainly what what helped was just <laughs> kind of like camping a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you i was throwing out some sentinel gameplay oh geez i'm still throwing out sentinel gameplay with my aim but then once you get all those done you unlock the mastery camo challenge which is like you get a challenge to do for getting gold like once you get them all you unlock the challenge for gold and that challenge i think it's like pretty universal all across them like all across all weapons it could be different uh depending on the weapon class but from the people i've talked to it seemed like the final challenge is just get three kills without dying which is not too bad Normally, that's just the skulls challenge, which is the last challenge you have to do to get gold for most weapons, at least how, how it was in Modern Warfare 2019. So it's not that bad. Plus, it's only like 10 of them. So if you're struggling with it like I was, uh, getting 10 is pretty reasonable. It's not that bad to do. Ooh, nice double kill. Of course, there's two more people though. So overall, if you're not like too big into camos, you haven't really done it in years past because it's like difficult. This is the game to kind of get you started. The camo challenges are very like noob friendly, uh, for lack of a better term. Like it's just not a whole lot to do and not too difficult to do. But the one thing, the one thing that's crazy is that the launchers only have one camo challenge. Now I've had the Pila on my class for a while. Uh, I was playing a little bit of ground war. I think if you guys want to get your launchers leveled up, you should play ground war. Because to even start doing the camo challenges for the launchers, which is unfortunate, you need to level it up. So for me, I still got to get my pilot to level 11. I think it's like level three right now, which is bad. But once I get it there, it's only one challenge. I don't know if they're going to be different. Oh, I just got my teammate killed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. He came right out the water and ate the prox mine. But I don't know if the camo challenge is going to be different for every launcher. Like, you're going to have to do something different for all of them. But there's going to be one challenge, which is probably going to be get kills. And then there's going to be the, the gold camo challenge. So, technically two challenges. But that's a lot better than the 10 that we got. Where it's like, get this many kills without dying. Shoot down this many score streaks in a game. Get this many aerial score streaks. Get this many ground score streaks. I'm not saying that none of those challenges will be in the game. But we won't have to do them all for the same launcher, which is great. 
Love to see it. But my question is for you guys, since the camo system's a little different and the camo challenges are different for each weapon, do you want to see me do a guide on each individual weapon or do you want me to do a whole class of them whenever I finish that, that class? Like, I'm, I'm going to continue to work on the ARs here. I think I'm working on, uh, what's it called? Can I check my loadouts? No, I can't. The, the pause menu in game is busted right now. Once you're in a game, you're trapped unless you like shut down the game. But I'm working on another AR. I think I'm going to try to get all the ARs done. I have seen that the SMGs are pretty good. The SMGs have a really fast time to kill. And I've seen the shotguns are kind of nasty. I kind of want to work on the shotguns before they get nerfed because it feels like every year the shotguns are like super overpowered and they get nerfed within the first month. Just like this right here. Dude just walks in smells me gone so i kind of want to get those done before they're more difficult to do also want to get the launchers done i don't know there's a whole lot i can do right now but i want to know what you guys want to see in terms of like guides and what weapons you want to be working on first what things do you guys need a, a little bit of tips and tricks for because it's a whole new game whole new system i gotta find a new format for it oh and we won let's go i went 14 and probably like 28 but really quick just to, to show you to, to ease your mind for those of you that want to do this camo grind look at this these are the pila weapon camos don't look at anything on the right side here look at what is in the the little gray box so if we look at this i need to get the pila to level 11 to unlock the challenge and then it's just complete the gold challenge that's it that's all you need to do for this launcher, which is crazy. And for this game, there is 186 camos. It is ridiculous. So like if I were to do the the first challenge for the Lockman sub or the MP5, I would get that wep that camo on every single weapon. It doesn't work for completionist camo, so I have gold on the M4, but I can't just throw gold on any AR. I have to get gold individually on those. But for all like the camos leading up to gold before you get the completionist, you can put them on any weapon you want. And there is a lot of them. There's woodland, digital, dragon, geometric, fun camos, foliage, to skulls, to tiger, you know, all the all the, the OG stripes, reptile. And then there's actually solid color camos. And you get these by doing the level two challenges for a lot of basic weapons. Like the Azul camo, the Aqua, the Crimson. Like these are very nice looking camos. And they're not even mastery camos, which I love. And then we have classic and everything. Like there's just a lot to do. There's a lot of camos. It's going to be a lot of fun. But just for you guys that haven't seen it, I'm going to go over the completionist camos really quick. This is gold. Gold looks super nice. It covers everything. The coverage in this game is unbelievable unreal there's not any blake spaces on this at all it's just two-tone gold beautiful platinum in this game looks a lot better than modern warfare 19's platinum or 2019 uh th it's a nice silver on all the like secondary color and then the main thing is like a shattered glass looking platinum which is very nice it looks a lot better than that like mild digital camo from modern warfare 2019 then we have polyatomic which is the mastery camo in this game it kind of looks like dark matter with triangles at least that's how i've been uh putting it uh i'm not the biggest fan of this i think it's kind of growing on me and i think it will grow on me as the game goes on especially once I get in my hands, but it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. I, I, I like this camo. Not my favorite, but I like it. The thing that I like the most in this game is Orion. This is like Dark Aether Galaxy. This is so nice. I wish it was animated. It might be animated. I haven't had it in my hands yet, so I don't know. Maybe it's just not animated in the menu. It looks so good. That's such a good looking weapon. Damn. But uh, I'm sorry for a little bit of a weird format here on our first uh, road to Polyatomic and Orion. Uh, I'll be changing it up. Uh, I just got a little ahead of myself and just started streaming right away, grinding camos. But if you want to see the whole thing, again, the stream's still up, so you guys can go and watch that. It's a little long, a little long of a stream. But uh, you can go check it out. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And uh, let me know down below what weapons you're working on, what weapons you want to see me work on, what kind of guides, things like that. You know, I I'm looking for some thoughts here. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.